Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today we are building further on the corner post office from or post office from Mold King 16010. They say this building has 4004 parts, pieces. I don't believe this. There are piece counts from 3050 to 3050 to 4030. Uh, I believe the lowest number around 3,000, 3, oh, we Germans, around 3k. We have really a problem sometimes with th, mostly with 1,000. The is no problem. Okay. Um, yes, sorry for that. First part, quality good, instructions good. Building techniques good. This is a stolen mug. The original designer, his name is Bricks and Tiles. And I have a link in the video description to his rebrickable account where you can buy the original instructions. Please do this because to make the instructions to to build a building or to design a building is one thing that can be done in four hours to four months, depends on how <laughs> what you want to do. And but later on the instructions, this is really really a pain in the ass work. And so please buy the original instructions. Because this set here is around 130 to 140 dollars depends on the day and and so on and you get it so it's cheaper than an original lego uh, much cheaper than an original lego has more parts has the same good piece quality you will feel no difference if you are new to mold king this is really good quality and you get a good instructions. You have LED and 20 more bucks. The original designer gets some money too. Okay, I start instead of talking. Start of the third floor. No carpet, nothing, no tiles. But art on the wall. Here, a small, I don't know, piece of art. Here, a counter with. I don't know. Normally I would say colored cupcakes, but this is a there's an art class and perhaps this is an exhibition or something like that. Art on the wall. But what's really hard is uh, the pink here on this side. <laughs> That's really uh, awkward. But it's it's a corner building and normally you are placing another modular here and so it doesn't matter. When you're placing another modular here, <laughs> this door is useless, but yeah, there's always one death. Hmm. So you have to decide. First, I, I really uh, ask myself to have a small parking lot, a 16 by 32 in here for one car, the, the post car, and then the next modular, so a small alley here. And, but I will still do this, but I have to replace the pink pieces there. Here we are finished with building step six and it's a, a potter school or pottery school or something like that. With four places and vases and other things. It's nice, it's okay. I don't have a pottery learning school in my city and I don't have a painting 
school or academy or something in my city and I don't have a post office in my city. So that's nice, nothing, no purposes twice in the city. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I don't know if I will tile it later on. I only have to, no I don't have, I don't know, perhaps I tile it. Uh, I will tile it. Ah, sorry for that. Sorry for that. Okay. So, I, I will make here the 16 by 32, make an arch here, and uh, a small parking place with a roof, and then the next wall, and then the next building. So I have a small alley for the delivery car. Or I bring it in my mind that this building was built first, there was no other building, and the building I will put next to it was built later, and they had no other choice to block the door. Two possibilities. Building step 7 is similar to the building step on this floor. Here build a section with windows and here without. It's open and we have doors, it's a little closed balcony. Here we have the studs on side, so we can build four frames. What you hear is the rabbit. Uh, four frames and cover it again and it's the same on this side. Building step 7 is a smaller one here, that's, that's all we have left. So we are finished with building step 7 and I, uh, I stop for today building. I want to use the Saturday to finish this building but my neighbors start to hammering they're building a new roof on their hut in the garden and oh man Okay, but anyway, we are finished with seven, and that means this here is tiled, everything. We have decorated these with these little sand green candlesticks or something like that. I have to bring them in a straight line anyway. But, oh man. And this here. This is nice covered with seven round bricks on each side. Here is a round tile. Normally in the instructions I had to stick a, a clock on it, but I wait till I have to go into my cellar and search for a real tile. I know I've ordered 20 of them a year ago or something. Okay. A nice second floor, mostly. And eight will bring us the frames. And let's have a peek. Yes. It's just more a lot of decoration. And then nine and ten. You see this. Oh, this section and 9 and 10 will bring us the roof and then it's finished. Nice. So building step 8 is done and brought us here the four pieces like on the other floor. It's the same technique. Build the whole frame and click it here into the facade. Everything the same. This here is new. That looks nice. Color-wise, it looks nice. Here too. I still wasn't in uh, my Lego room looking for the clock. <laughs> and here, and here again, we have the handcuffs. Here too, and there. Okay, so. Building step 9 and 10. It's only the roof for the rest 
So I believe both building steps together will get us the roof. Well, we have a closer look on the next page. Yes, nine brings us this here, the ceiling and the roof. Well, always thrilling how the next floor will be made. This is nice here. Transparent pieces. It's okay. Well, building step 9 has brought us a small tower here. This And it's easy made, four of the bigger slopes here, with four of the smaller ones. Color-wise it's nice, sand green and dark blue looks great together. So we're almost done. Here we have building step 10 and here is the lightning kit. And what I don't like about Mole King that they mostly never show how to install the lightning kits from the cars or here from the building too. But no big issue, so just do it like you want. Okay, I finished this here. It's what do you have here? 10. You see a little bit more roof and a small delivery car. Oh, the house itself is finished. We got a nice little roof in this here. There are two 1x6 tiles missing in dark blue, but in the set are two 1x6 plates. So I use them for the roof, not nice, but in the next Bricklink order I will buy the tiles. Normally, this this happens very, very rare from Mold King and their delivery from uh, Go Bricks. And I believe the blades must have been nearly or must have the same nearly the same weight as the tiles, and so the the weight machine doesn't ring alarm missing parts or wrong parts because. Uh, believe this must be nearly the same. Okay, the house is finished. Here is the 150, 160 parts for the delivery car or the delivery van. Okay, let's go. Yes, we did it. The post corner office is done. Last piece here, this little delivery van. Really, really, really basic style. Two doors, some letters in there. Normally here has to be stickers of a letter. But how you perhaps know from the earlier video, I lost the sticker sheet. I don't know where it is, but I have a lot of tiles in the cellar, I believe, with letter stickers or well, these computer stickers. I don't know. I bought a lot of Bricklink. Perhaps it was keyboards and no letters. Okay, I will buy letters. Uh, here the windshield isn't too milky. And most what you see are my fingerprints and nearly no scratches. Here is a scratch, but here is everything also. It's okay. That's really absolutely basic. So we are done and we see us in a few seconds.
After watching at least half of it, my assembly, or when you watch the first part, after watching me assembling this, here you have the house in its full beauty. And I have to admit, it's a beauty. It really is a beauty. Building time, 6 to 10 hours. Model number here, it's the 16010. Here's a, the instruction says uh, over 4000 parts, never. Um, on the, the box it says 3000 something, and on another sheet it says another 3000 something. I don't know. I don't know. Instructions are okay. Some stickers. Stickers are for the clock. Somewhere here is the clock. I haven't stickered it because I lost the sticker sheet. And the other stickers are um, for the letters. But you can use just a normal printed 1x2 tiles that perhaps many of you have at home from other LEGO City or modular buildings or something like that. It includes no minifigs. That's absolutely okay, before they put illegal min minifigs in it and perhaps the customs took your set and destroys it. Just go to Bricklink and look for cheap minifigs if you want some for here. We have a little city creator, a uh, city car, 150, 160, that's just a, the post van. Easy building techniques. Quality wise, great. Go bricks, no problem. Everything is good. Instructions are okay. Quality of the bricks is really, really good. Transparent pieces are only just a little bit milky, but equal to Lego since a few months and just a little bit scratched, but not much. So it's for shiny set. Great, absolutely great. Transparent is like Lego at the moment. Lego was better in the early years, but they have some quality issues at the moment. The design, I was shocked in the beginning about Molking that they choose three modulars I don't like. The Chanel, the head shop and the, the, the post office. This was the less ugly one for me. So I decided to build this here and, and buy this here. And uh, I was sure I will sell it when I build it. But after I build it and have it in reality here, it's much better than on the, on the pictures. And the white, uh, the yellow and orange is not so dominant as I thought. Because here is a lot of tar and sand green and black and blue. So that's absolutely okay. Obviously, you see this is a corner building and there are two things. First, I don't know if this in the, in the original instructions, this is a stolen mock from bricks and tiles. I haven't bought the instructions at the moment because I didn't know if I will keep it or not. Now I will keep it. I will buy the instructions next month to support the designer and then I can look when I bought the PDF <laughs> has he built really here pink pieces in it in the yellow wall man that's a bummer but normally you see it's a corner building and normally here and here is another building but here's a door and this door is the entrance to the storage room here of our post building. So you can't you can attach here another modular, but then you have no possibility to get into the 
the locker room here or the delivery room, the package room from inside here as well. You, you block the door. We make a choice. We block the door. And there's a stud from the door here looking a little bit over the edge. So if you put another modular here, perhaps this stud makes a problem. So I made my thoughts and I will bring in here a 60 by 32 base plate and make a little alley for the delivery van. I make some things on the plate. I tile it and I make some other things that it looks nice. And then I will place the next modular here. So here's a little alley. Car can drive in, bring the post into the post building and drive out. That's the solution for me. If your solution is you can get rid of the door and put the next modular on it, so no problem. But when I make an alley, I have to replace the yellow brick, uh, the pink bricks here. Because when you see, when I make an alley here, you see this pink. Okay. Two quality issues. And Mold King used two pieces they haven't or they couldn't get from GoBricks, the delivery company. GoBricks is very good. The color is always the same, the quality is great, like Lego. Here you see this lion head. I don't have the spare pieces. You know this lion head from Lego. And this has another color. They bought it from another company because they don't have the mold. And they don't have the mold for the the handcuffs. On the sand green handcuffs you don't see a, a, a color difference. On the brown handcuffs, they are inside the post, it's a cheap, cheap, ugly brown. It doesn't match the other brown. So these are two issues. The brown, it's inside. No, nobody sees it. And it's wood. It has to be a... it should be a wood... Uh, yeah. okay. <coughs> and would never have the same color. But here, the lion head, you will see it. So buy a lion head on Bricklink. And if you want some figures to this building, put five figures to your order, and so you have no problem. The building I really like, I really like. If you want to see what's inside and how it is inside, just watch the building videos. First floor, the post, we have storage room, here it goes to the staircase. First floor is a, a painting school and on the next floor we have a pottery school or something like that. And that's new. We haven't in the Lego world no post. No pottery school and no uh, uh, painting school. I believe we had a, an artist who paints in the Parisian restaurant, but this here is really uh, like a school. There are more seats and just watch the building video, then you see it. First floor is tiled or the ground floor is tiled. First floor and second floor is, are not tiled, but easy, just by 100 of 200 tiles on Bricklink and you can tile your floor. The rest of the house is really cool. Building issues, only this, the parts here, the blue parts of the roof. And not building the structure but pressing the structure on the rest of the roof is not so easy. But if you've done it, you have this nice, nice look. And like I said first, oh, when I saw the pictures, yellow and orange, and I didn't realize there is more tan and, and, and sand green in this building. But after building it, I give it a hug. I give it a hug. I like it. It's absolutely worth the money. I don't know at the moment uh, uh, um, how much this will cost in US dollar. But for that what you get, absolutely okay. 
Much cheaper than Lego, nearly same quality, great looking house, much better than the, uh, the Birch uh, bookshop. I didn't like that from Lego, it was, I didn't like the color and I didn't like what it did inside. But this here is really nice. Some of you have in their mind Frank. In the first part you said there is a lightning kit. Yes, here is a lightning kit. I haven't built it in because I will use it in another set. And this lightning kit is um, to with stickers. Uh, it's a, like a LED tape. You know these LED bands? With we have a small box. Three triple A. Then it goes to a connection board, and on the connection board we have three more uh, ports. And we have two, uh, what do you say, to make a cable longer, you know what I mean? To extend, a cable extender, that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. And then we have a light brick, or a light blade, a 1x4 blade, with three LEDs. And you can connect the next strip here, LED strip, that's the word, not LED band, LED strip. It has 10 LEDs, but it's to, to stick with like the 3M, like the, the, the bigger ones you have perhaps in your living room. It's the same. Just remove the foil and then you can stick it on the wall. And who wants to stick a this inside a building. I don't want to, so I don't use it. Would there be more of these blades and you can bring on on the ceiling? That's better. So I will use this, I don't know, we will see. I will find a place for this. So we have, we have three of these LED and one brick. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing you need, but it's okay. So, I hope I told you everything about this building. If you have any more questions, then write me email or write a comment or just come to my house and <laughs> ring the bell and ask me. I don't know. I hope I told you everything. I lost the stickers, I told you, for the clock and, and the letters, but who cares? Okay. So I'm Frank from the Brick Freaks. Next two videos will be... I already building the Mole King Green Hound buggy. That's great. <laughs> That's a great, <laughs> a great car. This is awesome. And I have the Chihile uh, Mini Cooper from Technic, 2000 parts. It's a B uh, model or alternative build uh, from the, the Porsche, I believe. And then I have two more modules laying in uh, our guest room. Uh, I believe one from Rail and the other. I don't know, I forgot. I forgot. Okay, so next four sets, two Technic cars and two modulars. Okay? That was it. That was it. Have a good time. I'm Frank from Debris Freaks. Bye bye.